So finally, hands-on with the Android 13 Developer Preview 2. Developer Preview 1 is already out in the previous month. And now, in this month, we have the Developer Preview 2. So a lot of new changes are included in this one. So stay tuned. Let's find out the things quickly. We have the first one here is called Android version 13. This is also one of the changes which you have. This is not called as Android Tiramisu. The first update, the Developer Preview 1, had the name Tiramisu. But in this one, we have Android 13, but still no easter egg for android 13 which was expected of course you don't get those things in just the developer previews you might get that thing in the beta updates and even though in beta 3 i'm not sure but right now we don't have that option available moving on to another option we have uh, this interesting quick settings panel now available the settings and power menu these things are available at the bottom of the notification panel or basically quick settings panel which looks by the way quite interesting in my personal opinion this looks something unique kind of and looks quite interesting with all those animations another change which we have here is the priority mode which is not actually a new feature or anything else it's just the renamed version of dnd which is do not disturb and now they've just renamed it to priority mode which looks kind of really good and this is one of the biggest change what we have the media player in this notification shade looks damn cool we have this kind of options available in the maybe in custom rooms etc but in the stock one we don't have these things but it has some better options right now you can see at this kind of option we have the play pause option scroll etc and this new interesting media player this kind of option media output picker also looks good with including this pair new device option some new interesting things are already coming to the android 13 developer preview 2 i think so you'll love this thing for sure another change another new thing of course the qr code which was available which was already introduced in developer preview 1 but that was not working at that time if you watched my video make sure to check out that if you want to check it out but in this one now this option is available here which is working also and i think so this is also one of the positive things or new things about this android 13 developer preview 2 and now here it also has this kind of option this kind of shortcut this kind of pill or maybe something like that you have the shortcut available which will tell you that how many active apps you have right now which you can stop if you want to vibration and haptics also has some customizations right now we have the notification and alarms related customizations um, related vibration and haptics of course and this is also something new maybe in this one another one what we have is the app languages and this also looks quite good now we have the specific app languages available whichever app you're using you can customize the language for that app and this is a very interesting feature which was in which was expected to be introduced in this one so it's there screen saver is also here for example we have the screen saver related customizations already present uh, there's something kind of new ui basically which is what you have here you can customize clock or colors and whatever you want to choose uh, last but not the least we have this option called where you can customize text and reading options um, which means you have the new ui you can customize the display size font size and everything is now in this simple menu and looks damn cool i think so new ui everything else i've already shown you some might some things might be missed from here which i will talk about later on so this is all from today's short and simple video if you like this video don't forget to like and share this goodbye Over the edge Feel like I'm floating through